this is Hudson Vintage. Today I thought I would share my secrets for how I find things on eBay. These are my methods that I have developed over probably the last 20 years. I guess it's about 20 years. I started out as a collector on eBay and then I became a professional and I opened a shop and I have always kept up with it. I don't really need to buy things on eBay anymore. When you have a shop, you develop connections and consigners. As a person with an addiction and a collector, I still do it. Also, it's good to know how to check market value when you ha are selling things, you know, what current market value is on eBay. But today, I thought I would share my methods. And if you're a professional, before you get too angry at me, Stick around, there might be something that you can learn too. I'm sure we all do things a little bit differently. I have eBay up already. I'll just make this a little bit smaller. What I like to do is do the list view, which is here, not the gallery view. And then I just start scrolling down. I'm using Studio Modernist as an example for a search term. My tip for using search terms is you want to pick something that is specific but not too specific. Another one I would like to use, I often use, is uh, Vermeer. I'll just say something like Silver Vermeer or Sterling Vermeer. Um, but I've had in my mind all day Studio Modernist. I'm kind of into doing that. So, And then what I'll often do is I will just pick um, sometimes no category. This one, because I tested it out, I wanted to have it set up for the video. I already have it in jewelry and watches, which is here. But you'll notice I don't have it any more refined. The search, I like to keep the search just in the category, and not in the sub ones. Like I wouldn't go to vintage and antique because my goal is to find the little hidden treasures. And it's possible that someone who has a vintage piece wouldn't know to put it into this subcategory. It might just end up in the main jewelry and watches category. And that's where you're going to get lucky when you find things from people that aren't um, professional sellers and they're just getting rid of what they've had for a while, you know, that they inherited a while ago or whatever. So I tend not to go into the subcategories unless I'm looking for something really specific. And then the next thing that I do is I go to Ending Soonest. It defaults on Best Match, but I always start with Ending Soonest. And the tip here is to look and see what's ending in the next 20 minutes. And then I just start scrolling down. And I'm looking for a good price, something where they're obviously not too committed to getting top dollar I'm also looking for, you know, scale of things. Maybe they don't really understand what they have. And I'm looking for not a lot of feedbacks. Like this seller, this is great, whatever this is. This is so cool. This vintage sterling silver leaf vein modernist designer studio brooch for $41.99. That looks awesome. Look at this. This person has, or this company has 63455 Feedbacks, that's a lot of feedbacks. So I'm guessing they pretty much know what they have and that's probably a really good price. And if I love it, yes, I will pay for it. But today, for these purposes, I'm trying to show you how to find the little hidden gems. So moving on. Um, ooh, this is cool. That's old RLM. I have the earrings that match that. It's a lot of old RLM ooh, here right now. This is interesting. Look at that. That's very 80s. They're correct with that. Um, here, I'm going to cover up my face a little bit more here. I'll do this over like that. Okay, that's good. And I just start scrolling down. And look, we're already in one day. That was fast. That is a sign of the times. Normally, that would never happen. Um, but I guess there's been kind of a gap in people listing things these last few weeks. That would make a lot of sense. Love these. Okay. So, Vintage Sterling Brewless Monterey Dangle Freeform Earrings. Okay, this is a great example. These are $28.97. So, that's a good price. 
and this seller only has 592 feedback. So we're going to click on that and they look like 1950s so if that's an indication of the kind of era that this person has things from, see there's a sterling mark and it's not 925 so that tells me that it was pre-925 stamping or British or both. And then I'm going to go to see other items and then this is defaulted by newly listed but it's only 34 so it doesn't really matter and then I'm just going to go on and have a little look. Look at this, $95 antique white gold diamond, vintage 14 karat diamond drops. This is a pretty collection, look at this, Denmark modernist, $95 14 karat diamond Oh, that's a pinky ring. That's a size two. Some old garnet, Victorian garnets. You see how I just found this seller out of the millions of things that are on eBay. I'm already finding things. This is a good example. This says antique Victorian 10 carat. This is not Victorian. This is a Truscan revival. Um, and it's not honestly, I mean, it's a good fair price. It's not a bargain. Um, I love this. Look at this. This you can tell from this. This this is where the trained eye comes in. I can tell that this is big. This says vintage mid-century unusual mod brutalist pendant nail art studio artist. $45 or best offer. That's fabulous. We'll click on that. I can see this on a black leather cord. And then there it is for scale. So you can see that that's really nice. And it's actually not nail nails. But it doesn't matter. Um, you know, when, oh, look at the pop art earrings. Those are fantastic. This is fantastic. This looks like old Hattie Carnegie. If this is old Hattie Carnegie, this is a $500 pin. I don't have my books here. I wish I did. They're at the office. Let's see if there's a, there's no marking. It might have, might be a more recent. Yeah, I don't think this is an original Carnegie. Um, but isn't that great? Look at that. $49.97. That's worth watching until I can get to my research. I might watch that. So you can see how you find little treasures just already, how they're popping up. Now, that was everything from that seller. Now, to the search terms. Search. Back to search. And I'll do another page. And this can work for any, these tips will work for any search term. Uh, ooh, Studio Modernist Glass. That's cool. Love these. 537. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is Ann Dick. Oh, this is an, okay. 329. They don't know who it is, but this is an Ann Dick. But that's, that's the right price for that. Um, love this. Those are cool. That's nice. 185. I love look at this. This is great. This is kinetic. hundred dollars. That's a great buy. Really beautiful. Ebony wood. Oh my. I wonder if this is a Betty Cook. Ooh, baby. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's fabulous no markings. You get the idea what I'm doing here, hopefully. Um, $35, old Robert Lee Morris. This is fabulous. Okay. Oh, look at this. Sodalite brass, 179. That looks like the rabbit on the mood on the moon. The Asian thing, the rabbit on the moon. And pretty nobium. And you can see we're actually now look at this. It says six days away. That was the fastest. The fastest I've ever been. And so the next thing I'll do is I'll go to newly listed. 
And the point of doing newly listed is then you can catch something. Hopefully you can spot something that someone just listed before anybody else. Um, this is nice. 46. The cat is great. Oh, look at these. Those are wonderful. You can see actually some of the things that just ended are back. That means that those sellers had automatic relist on them. Some, oh, look at that. That's so good. These are cool. I like these a lot. $25. So that's how we do that. Now let's give another example. I'm going to do silver vermeil. And I'm going to skip all the things that it recommends. Pop it up. Jewelry and watches. Okay, it's on newly listed because that's where we left it off. Oh, these are great. Look at that. Those look like the old um, Victorian Revival ones that were made for the Museum of Jewelry. Look at this, Turkish Royal Antiques. Okay, so they're probably not from here, but there's only 270 feedbacks, so that's worth looking at. See other items. See, they got me to look before I even went to Ending Soonest because that's how you find things. Yeah, this is someone they're manufacturers or they're you know they're a factory or a studio or whatever and that's what they're doing so I'm really looking for secondary market vintage estate so let's go to now ending soonest again and ooh look at this these are pretty Black Crystal Sterling. Okay, this is sponsored, so that has 10 days left. Here we are. One minute, one minute, one minute. Renee Sterling, 20 inch. So you can see the variety here of all the different things that are coming up with just this search term. And once again, I'm looking for something that's quality. That might be a good price. Okay, sterling silver, emerald, ruby, diamond, gold, for May earrings, lot, $40.50. That's good. The seller is, has over 13,000 feedbacks, so probably not really worth looking at that as a seller. The seller, you know, the other items for sale. Look at this. So was I, oh, those are so good. Um, I thought it was tourmaline slices when I first saw it. And it's pretty. Sterling silver, Vermeil, Ross Simmons, orange papaya, CZ. Okay, so look at this. 438 feedbacks, $29.99. So not committed to top dollar. This is 1980s Ross Simmons. Let's click on it. And... It's not so much the item, I just want to see what else these people have. Um, look at this, only 296 items, so they're probably not professional sellers on eBay, probably just more occasional or, um, this is nice. That's nice, $20. See, this is how you find things. It's very possible a seller like this would have something that they didn't really want to bother looking up. And just wanted to turn it over. That's cute. And that's, you know, this is wonderful. Lavender Jade. There's nothing really super vintage here. But that would be, oh, this is, look at this. Okay, Wedgwood, $49.99, Sterling Silver Wedgwood. The entire set, that's a great price. That is vintage. 
um, like the butterfly. Pretty. And I generally do go through every piece because you just never know with a seller like this if you're going to discover a little hidden treasure. Wow, carved red malachite nude lady winged fairy pennant with sterling silver ball. That is incredible. That is not this. This is, I don't know, $14.99. It doesn't look like red malachite to me. That is spectacular. Look at that beauty. Um, that was a score. For sure. Ooh, a uh -huh. Wedgwood ring. This is so beautiful. The carved Labradorite. The carved Mother of Pearl. Carved Labradorite, $35. That's good. Deco style, 50 bucks. Yeah, so I think this is really just someone's collection and they're selling it. Okay, let's go back to search terms, back to search results. This is interesting. Lemonade Closet A, this is Gilt Chinese, $25. Fantastic, those can go for hundreds. Individual beads. Here's an old Napier, sterling silver vermeil. That's very pretty. I wanna find something that is worth going a little deeper so I can show you the next steps. Ah, ooh, 162, that's lovely though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Getting closer, I can feel it. Oh. Smooth curved petal charm. Hmm. Well, this is very good, $11.99. But let's see if I can find something more interesting. The pink CZ. I'm, I want to be inspired by something a little bit older than the 80s. Hmm. And then we're back in ending soonest. Oh, okay. 150. Here we go. Danica Eggert. I love these. These are so great. They're usually pin pendants. I don't know. This just says pin. Denmark. This is the Vermeer Gold Over Sterling. These are so cool on. So... We'll click on this and we'll check the back. Yep, there's the mark and it's just a pin, but it could easily be put on a choker or a ribbon or whatever. I'm going to check other items um, because they don't have a lot, they don't have a little, right? They have 1500, so that could be because they buy a lot too. Look at how, oh my God, I love that. That is so cool. Um, oh, little evening bags. Okay, so they have some purses. All right, so someone just doing kind of a casual closet clean out, jewelry display, sofas, some shoes. Okay, no shows, no heart-stopping scores here. This is very cool. Actually, this is cool. Look at that. The spiral, the multicolor spiral. 
for forty dollars. That's nice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to ooh, those are cool. Some faux pearls. Oh, faceted sapphire blue crystals. That looks like it could be all thin dome. Thin dome. Okay, this is neat. Okay, reversible turquoise to black onyx. It's new. That's fun. I'm such a sucker for anything that is reversible or changeable. Um, Cause you know, multi-use, use it multi ways. Okay. This looks like vintage eighties, but it's so cool. Gold tone 18 inch, oh no, it says new other. We want real vintage. Let's check and see. Sometimes people will say new and what they mean is not used, but it could be 19, you know, it could be older anyway. It definitely does look older. Let's look at the clasp. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is vintage 80s, even though I haven't seen a clasp like that in a while. This would have a cheap lobster claw if it was more recent. So as an example, um, buy it now. You could do that, or if it has a make an offer, you could do the make an offer. Um, also, what I do is if it is for bid, I should find one for bid, for examples. Hmm, I should really be doing that. Okay, so let's go back to search results. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna go back to this. Oh no, that's $100, buy it now. Oh, look at this. Um, okay, so for normally buy it nows are good. I would just put all auction, you know, all, not just buy it now or not just auction. Um, but for these purposes, for the sake of explaining, we want auction only. Okay. So, and then ending soonest, sterling silver, cubic zirconia. Look at this, 35 minutes, that is great. 9.99, no bids, sterling silver, gold for May long link chain. That's so great. Okay, that is a score. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So what I would do in this case is I would go to it and then I would find the auction number down here, eBay item number. I'd copy and paste that and then I'd go to um, a sniping service and I use auction stealer which I'm not going to go to now because I don't want to by mistake share my password or anything but go to auctionstealer.com you get three free per month I think you put in the number that you just you know the item number down there that I just went to and then you put in your top bid. So this is $9.99. So I would put in, oh, I don't know, $15 or something. And then uh, click Save. And it will automatically bid on that for me. You have to put in your eBay password first. So it does it for you. And then if you win, it sends you an email and lets you know. And you can forget about it. Um, and that's a good thing to do. Or if there is a little bit more time and there's a make an offer and it's close to the end of the auction you can always make an offer and sometimes they're more likely to take it because they know the auction is ending soon so it's really helpful to do auction ending first
Look at how beautiful that is with the heart, that antique bohemian garnet. I love these. Look at this. This is this says enamel silver vermeil artisan artisan earrings. These are actually Chinese gilt enamel. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful. And now these are on the scale, so they don't have a picture of them on a ruler, but once you have a developed eye and you see enough items that have pictures with rulers and the scale, you'll get an idea of how big these are. Also, you can tell by the earring backs, the size of these, because the clutch backs are always about the same size. So that's great. $45 is good for this. What I'm going to do, oh, look at this, Jewelry Holic, $5.96. Worth looking at other items. Ooh, ooh. All kinds of assortments. What is this? Only 40 pieces that they have for sale right now. They have some furniture. Some little curiosities, some glass. Multi-strand pearl. This is great, the KJL dog pin. So this is how you find things. You know, you never know what someone just decided, oh, I'll throw it up on eBay. You know, just something like this. But going back to this, so I'm glad I checked that. But now what I want to do is find similar items. So I'm going to go down here. And it says people were also, people that were interested in that were also interested in this. See, look, and these are more of the same. You can find some great things. Look at that, copper enamel, modern artisan. Fourteen carat solid yellow gold and abalone dangle earrings, nine ninety nine with one day and seventeen hours left. Wow, that is great! Look at that; these are so pretty. I'm going to be watching these, and I'm going to after I disconnect from you guys. I'm going to be putting in a snipe for those. So we'll see if anybody tries to outbid me because this video might be up by then. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you get an idea. That's it. That's all there is to it. You know, I have, that's my method. I start with a search term. Here, let me go back to this. I start with a search term that is specific but not too specific. I go to the category that I want, but I don't go into the subcategories. And then I look for the little hidden gems, something that looks like it's priced a little bit better than usual, or a seller that has less feedbacks than usual. And I go a little bit, bit deeper into those listings, and I look and see what else there might be, or something similar to it. And then I either make an offer, or I put in an auction stealer snipe, or sometimes I'll just buy it, of course, if it's good enough. Um, sometimes I'll look to, for other items so that I can do combined shipping. And that's how I do it. So thank you so much for watching. Please click like, please subscribe, please ring the bell. All of those things that you do, if you can do all of them, it would be absolutely amazing because it helps YouTube to um, point me to other people. It helps me to get discovered by YouTube so that I can keep making videos and become monetized in the brave new world we're facing. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.